and welcome back to It's a Clan Life. I'm A.K. Hammer with the Armor Knights, and this is video eight of an eight-part video series on how to start and maintain a successful gaming clan. So uh, what we're going to be talking to uh, today, we're going to be talking about maintenance. So we've talked about a lot of things over the last couple of videos. We've talked about <clears throat> what type of clan are you building, social, family, casual, competitive, whatever, um, the foundation that you need to set uh in order for your clan to build on. So you need a website presence, you need a voice over IP presence, um, and those kinds of th rules. You need that structure with a clan. You need, to, you need some rules, whether it's the basic rules or some pretty hardcore uh, requirement rules. Um, you need rules in order to survive. Uh, leadership, if you don't have somebody that knows what they're doing, um, driving the boat, then you're not gonna have many members. Uh, a large part of the, being a leader is personal skills. You need to be able to deal with people and realize that they're people. Realize that what you're doing is you're running a clan within a game. Don't take yourself too seriously. You are not Napoleon Bonaparte or General MacArthur, whoever you think you are. Um, you're not um, Steve Jobs or you know any, any of these uh, uh, people that started up these Fortune 500 companies that think they know everything because you don't. Um, you're dealing with people, and you're dealing with people that don't pay to be here. Uh, so you need to be a leader, and you need to have those personal skills so that you're doing the right thing, treating people like people, not being a jackass just because you can, because um, that will definitely help you in the long run is, is having those personal skills. Uh, and treating your members like people. Uh, without members, you have no clan. So you want to be a jackass, that's great, but all your members are going to leave, you're not going to have anybody around, then you have no clan. So it's, you're not going to be very successful. So some things to think about, recruiting more people, providing things to your members so that they enjoy being there whether it's in-game stuff in you know in intra-clan competitions website forums you know that kind of stuff so uh, we've talked about all that stuff over the last couple of videos so today we're going to talk about maintenance how do you keep this stuff going now that you've got a built so you know website for me uh, and i've said it a couple times the website is huge there's no reason today why you can't have a website every most website companies out there provide free websites with at the very least a minimal number of pages and, and, and stuff you can add to them. And if you know how to do HTML and do your own coding, that's even better. Um, if you don't, there are numerous websites out there that provide uh, website builders, so you don't even have to know how to do anything. You create a page, drop a module on there with forms, and boom, now you have a website. Um, so uh, there's a lot of that stuff out there for free, so there's no reason why you can't have one. But if you do have one, remember, it's an image of your group. It's an image of you. Everything reflects on the clan as a whole. So if you have a website, part of your maintenance is making sure it's updated. Uh, keep the looks on it fresh. Uh, if you have the same dated pictures if, uh, on there that you've had for five years, it's probably not, it's, they're probably look dated. If you have a, if you have a news section on the front page that hasn't updated in two years because nobody's gotten in there and updated it, then it makes it, it reflects badly on you because if you don't care about keeping that stuff fresh and keeping it looking up, then number one, how are new people going to care? And then the you know, harder part about it is how are your members going to care if you're not even updating the website and keeping it looking good? So if you're going to have a website, make sure you keep it updated. Uh, make sure you keep fresh looks. And here's something that I didn't put on there. Domain name. Hello. Anybody can go on and buy your domain. So if you have a name for your clan, Armored Knights. Hello. ArmorKnights.us. I own the domain for it. So uh, you can do that. You can go on many different websites that uh, that have the ability to sell you domain names and you can do a search for your clan name and it'll tell you you have this .net available, .com available, whatever, and you can buy those or, you know, some sometimes they're only like five bucks for a year. So, uh, so it really doesn't cost anything. But there again, it gives you a professional look for your website. If you do give somebody your website, it's not... Um, you know, the name of your clan is a bunny humpers, uh, yet your website, uh, address is, you know, free website pages.com. Well, that doesn't tell them who you are. It doesn't look good when you're posting it on Twitch or in the recruiting chat or whatever. So getting your domain name looks huge. So that's part of your website upkeep. <clears throat> Keep that stuff going. Forums. If you have forums on your website, forums are there. Uh, twofold. They can be there for the public if you allow the public to see them, um, but they're also there for your members to post stuff, whether it's training stuff, tactics and strategy, map stuff, or just have a general where people can talk about other games or talk about videos or whatever. Have a Facebook group. Have you know? There's lots of other things you can do. Um, 
make sure you keep them make sure you keep them active um well, you know one of the things i mentioned with the website if you have a forums up there and it had, nobody's posted a forum in there in, in a year what incentive is there for anybody to go in there and look at it because they don't care it hasn't been updated in a year there's nothing in there and then you have new members new people come by to look at your website and there's nothing been updated for a year it's going to turn people off so you need to keep that stuff you need to maintain that keep keep active in your own forums um, make sure your leadership is getting in there because as long as there's stuff in there, uh, make sure they're putting relevant stuff in there. Don't just get in there and go, hi, everybody, I'm in the forums. You know, put links in there to the game web page. Hey, these are the new tanks coming out. These are the new tanks coming out. These are the new maps coming out. You know, whatever it is, um, it's a way to put out information and you want to keep it relevant. So keep that stuff going. Um, and I just said that relevant. Um, you want to make sure that the stuff you're putting out there is important to what you're doing you don't want to type in there go hey i'm in the forums bang enter okay yeah now your form counter went up one and now the date on the latest form post is today but you didn't put it in there worth a damn so um you it have the lost. you have the opportunity with uh forms post to uh or for a website you have the opportunity to make sure that uh, uh it looks good is up to date uh and is relevant uh, and it's going to look good on you. And the other big part of it is going to be something that your members can utilize. Um, so you want to make sure that that stuff is taken care of. Um, your team speak, you want to make sure team speaks taken care of. If you have that, you want to make sure your permissions are up to date. If you have somebody quit or leave or get fired or whatever, you want to make sure you pull their permissions. You don't want them to get back in there ranting and raving, et cetera. So, um, once you get the stuff built, yeah, it takes work and effort to build it, but it also takes effort to maintain it. And if you don't maintain it, it will look run down. Um, and it will start looking old and people will not, it will not attract anybody. So you can't use it as a, a recruiting tool or public image attractant because it doesn't look good. So website, keep it updated, keep the looks fresh, change your pictures once in a while. If you have images on the front page, make sure you have a news that's up to date forms and all that kind of stuff are active and you don't want to stagnate cause then it just looks bad. Um, but you want to make sure stuff you're putting in there is relevant. Um, whether it's clan happenings, uh, schedule stuff coming up, um, uh, recognition for people. Make sure you're identifying people that did good stuff and, and kudos to them. Um, and make sure you have that, uh, that personal touch uh, while you're uh, there. You want to make sure that, that people see you and that you're doing stuff and that um, you're, you're playing with your guys in the game or multiple games or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, sometimes it can be work and effort to keep all these things going, and it is. Um, but you want to make sure that you're also playing as well because if you're not, you know, if you end up loving this game and so you start a clan and next thing you know you're not able to play because you're always busy doing this stuff, then you're probably going to get burned out and not want to do any, have anything to do with it, and that's not going to be good either. So be visible, be accessible, um, and make sure you keep this stuff up to date. Uh, nothing looks worse than a website that hasn't been updated in a year. So very important stuff. Very important. <clears throat> and finally, some final thoughts on, on some of the things we've talked about. Uh, the reality is a clan is like a child. For all you parents out there, you're going to understand the analogy. If you're not a parent, you may still get it. Uh, for your younger crowd out there, you probably don't understand it. But a clan is like a child. You have to, you are the one that starts it. You're the one that creates it. Uh, but in order for it to grow, you have to be able to provide things. You have to provide guidance. You have to provide direction and goal. You have to provide structure for that uh, clan to survive within. You have to provide the environment uh, for that clan and its members to uh, be active in and do things. Um, and essentially, you have to take care of it. Uh, as the leader of a clan, you have to be paying attention to what's going on uh, with your people, with the game itself, uh, with everything that goes on. If you have a tournament team, how's the team doing? Is it not doing well? Um, is there – what is it? Is your Are your strategy callers bad? Are the, is there a teammate that's causing problems? Um, uh so you have to take care of everything within your within your uh, your clan uh, to keep it healthy. Now that doesn't mean that you're the only one that can do it, um, and this is where the leadership part of it comes in. You have trusted advisors. You have people that you trust to be able to take care of certain things. 
um, and then they can start taking care of things. So the idea, of course, is like in any, or any organization, is you have this much responsibility. Well, if you chop that much responsibility up into, say, four pieces and give three other people a piece, you have your piece and they have their piece. If you all are doing a little bit of work, then everything gets done. So instead of you doing all of it, delegate some. So that way it kind of helps take the load off. That way it allows you time to do other things, whether it's looking at opportunities to add add to the clan, expand out in other areas, or just play the game more, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. So, and leadership, <clears throat> your, your leadership and your structure is key to that. Um, leaders, leadership matters. Bad leaders drive clans into the ground. Bad leaders drive good members away and attract bad members. So leadership is huge. Uh, and the structure that you have set for your clan is going to be key to your clan success. Whatever direction you uh, want to take it in, uh, your structure is what is going to matter. So make sure you have those foundation things in place. Make sure you have thought about those things. doesn't mean you have to have something in place right away, but make sure you've thought those things through because at some point you might need to implement them. Um, for example, here at AK, um, there's been numerous things that we've had to implement over the years uh, later on as time went by, as we realized we needed it, or, or when we were building our organizational structure. We built our organizational structure to provide for a clan of this size, but when we started it, we were only this big. But we knew that if we ever did grow, that we would need to be able to implement that idea on a bigger scale. So we created our foundation and our structure to be able to support that change and to support that growth as we had it. So that structure is huge. Uh, and, and a lot of that has to do with the flexibility and rigid part of what we we're talking about before. Uh, if you have the flexibility to change as you need things, it will be easier to grow. If you want to be so rigid that no, this is what we're doing and we're not doing anything else and put the blinders on, you may grow a certain amount within that realm, but you're not going to grow much more outside of that because what ends up happening is there's going to be a very small niche of people that want to be in that one small space. And so that will kind of control that. And if you're okay with that, then that's fine. Uh, but just, again, something to think about. So clans like a child, take care of it. It'll grow, uh, do good things. Leadership and structure is, is huge. So, uh, I hope this kind of stuff helped, and I want to caveat all that, uh, all of what I've said in previous video issues, um, that none of this stuff is a hard and fast, none of this stuff is a cemented. Um, these are just seems to, things to think about when you're putting together your clan. Um, some things may be more important for your situation, and there may be some things that you've thought about that may be important for your specific game style or game environment that, that I haven't talked about, and that's fine too. Um, this is just kind of a, a basic uh, start uh, so you can kind of start figuring things out that you might need uh, and you might not but uh, I hope it works out for you if you have any questions uh, or if you just want to chat about something you need help with something or you want to pick our brains for something uh, not a problem come by drop by see us uh, on the corner there you have our website and our TeamSpeak information down there in the bottom corner uh, come check us out come hang out in TeamSpeak um, pick our brain hit me up anytime you want and uh, I'll be glad to hang out and, and talk clan shop with you if you want. Um, uh, just let me know whether it's in game or not. So hope this kind of stuff helped. I'm glad you came by. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, as I said, hit us up. And uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks.